And now I bring you to the story that really moves my heart the most. He is a man who was poor. Not only was he poor, he was a person who was very unattractive. In fact, the ulama or the sahabas used to describe him as hideous, hideous. If a person looks at him, just wants to look away. So this man, Allah created him this way. Poor, no status in society and hideous. And even his name was ugly. We're not meant to say that Sahabas are ugly, a'udhu billah, they are beautiful. But the name that he had was an unattractive name. His name was Julaybib, radiallahu This hadith is in Sahih Muslim and part of it is also in a Tirmidhi, which is completely authentic. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saw Julaybib one day and he had grown older in age. He said to him, how are you, ya Julaybib? That was such the case of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How are you, Ya Julaybib? And Julaybib said, Ya Rasulullah, do you think the only woman I'll get is in Jannah, in Hur al-Ain, insha'Allah? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam understood what he's trying to say, that he's never going to be able to get married in this life. Is he just going to die and just hope to meet Hur al-Ain? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, No. بَلْ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ insha'Allah." You are going to get a woman from dunya, inshallah, and also from the akhirah. In other words, I would have said, no, hurtin and then hurlain, inshallah. Hurtin means soil. Laugh. Someone laugh. And thank you, akhir kay. <laughs> so, Rasulullah said, Ya Julaybib, go to so and so a house and ask, they have a daughter. He went and they rejected him. So Rasulullah came to this man and said to him, Uridu an akhtuba ibnatak. I want to ask for your daughter's hand. He said, Allahu Akbar, Rasulullah, what beautiful news this is that makes the eyes enlighten in the heart, subhanAllah. Rasulullah no, 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 it's not for me. He said, who for then? He said, for Julaybib. And suddenly his smile turned into a frown and he said, let me ask her mother. So he went home and said, Rasulullah has asked for our daughter. She said, Allahu Akbar, what great honor, what brings comfort to the eyes and to the heart. And he said, no, 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 not for Rasulullah. She said, who for? He said, for Julaybib. And then the mother said, Subhanallah, we had better men than him coming and asking for our daughter and rejected him. We had greater families asking for her and we refused them. And now the lowest of the low in society and the most hideous, we have to give our daughter to him? No, 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 please. Their daughter was in the background inside listening. So she came out and said, what is this that I hear, mom and dad? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is on behalf of another man proposing that man to me. And you say no to Rasulullah? Wallahi, I will not refuse the request of Rasulullah and Julabib is the only man I will marry. Allahu Akbar. When the news came to Jalaybib, he was rejoiceful, mashaAllah. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam got the companions to look after him and donate so that he can get married. Time passed and there was one of the battles. Then Jalaybib was among the people who went into that battle. Rasulullah sallallahu was there and the battle, alhamdulillah, was victorious to the Muslims. And then he went out as he usually does and looks among the Sahaba. There were great Sahabas who had died. And he's asking, everybody's asking, where's my uncle? Where's my brother? Where's my son? Where's my so-and-so? But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asking one question. Aina Julaybib? Where is my Julaybib? And everybody would say, we don't know ya Rasulullah. Nobody cares about Julaybib. Only Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa cares about Julaybib. Where is my Julaybib? Everyone is saying, I don't know, Ya Rasulullah. And they'll say, Ya Rasulullah, have you seen my uncle? He said, no, but have you seen my Julaybib? And they say, no, no, we don't know anything about him. So he went looking for him. And amidst the dead people, he finally found Julaybib, radiallahu anhu, dead on the ground. And around him, as a circle, there were seven of the enemies dead around him. And Rasulullah, sallam, when he saw this image, he stared at him and his eyes flowed with tears. He said, قتل سبعة من المشركين وقتل 
He killed seven of the enemies of Islam and then he was killed. Julaybib is of me and I am of him. Julaybib is of me and he repeated it three times. Julaybib is of me, he's my, one of my family and I am one of his family. Then Julaybib had no other bed except the bed of the palms of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam carried him on his own forearms. And he was crying. Then suddenly his crying turned into a smile. And he looked away. He went to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and buried Julaybib with his own blessed hands. And they asked him, Ya Rasulullah, why were you crying and then you were smiling and looked away? He said, I was crying for the loss of my dear family member Julaybib. No one cared about him but me. And then Allah showed me his place in Jannah. I saw his soul in Jannah and there was one of his wives from Nuhur al Ain running towards him. So I smiled that he finally got his wife which he wanted in Jannah. And as she was running, the heel the heel of her legs showed, so I turned away. I have no right to look at the wife of Julaybib. 